Hello, I'm the Bowmaster. Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Last time we made it through the Magic Cave, got a really awesome anime cutscene, and now we're entering entering Magus's lair. So let's go. We approach it with the bat in tow. This can only be. Oh, that is very eerie music for this scene. I love it. I love it. Megas's castle. All right, here we go. In we go. That bat is still following us. Is that bat supposed to be something special? Is it supposed to be somebody? Is it just there to stalk us? Okay. So we're going to go this way. It's very weird that there's no music playing right now. Ha ha. Dot, 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 dot. We got a midi throw out of the deal. Wanna play? Wanna play? Ha ha. Again, the, mu the lack of music is very unsettling here. We got a mid ether. And a shelter. Oh, come on. Come on, other way. There we go. Well, can't interact with the chair, so that's okay. Okay, so it looks like they're not going to come out and attack us, which is good. In fact, we'll just walk right through them. So I guess we're going to go the other way. Our treasure. Ha ha. Dot, dot, dot. Wanna play? Okay, so it looks like I can't get the treasure chest right now. Well, if it isn't Linda. Oh boy. Froggy, you're safe. Got another mid ether out of the deal. Crystal, this is where you've been since the festival. You've had me worried sick. Trying to play upon our fears here, or something. Okay, that's done nothing. Okay, so the chair does nothing. Run past all the people. I wonder if the people will change based on uh, who we have in our party. No, oh, there's a save point that wasn't there before. But that's not a save point. Aussie! Welcome back, or should I say, so froggy? Maha! Say, looks like you've got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take your business, up your business, with me. The swordsman, slash, and flee the magician, and... You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus's castle. 488 experience points, 12 tech points, 940G. Wow. There's that stupid bat again. Dance, 
dance, for tonight our leader is to be born. Ah, here comes the sacrifice. I don't know if I fought the Omnicron. Sorry, folks. I've been thinking if I fought an Omnicron before. I don't know if I fought that one. I think there's been an, another one we fought before, but. And I don't know if we've actually fought Decedents. So, again, my apologies for being a little. I think we have, but just in case. Either way, we're taking them out one by one. Buy one. All right, seventy experience points, five tech points, four hundred fifteen G, one ether. Okay. So now we're gonna move right along, and if we have any of those again, now we know what to do. Only a moron would try and kill something that's already dead. Humans. 70 experience points, 5 tech points, 415G, 1 ether. This music is very unsettling. Like, I feel the bat is Magus. Uh oh. Please help. Relieve us of this misery! Sixty experience points, five tech points, four hundred and fifty G. Hmm. How did you get past my cadaver pals? It's been ages, Sir Slush. And before we meet Sir Slush. We are going to heal up the party real quick. So I'm sure this is probably going to be a boss fight. And we're going to need all the health we're going to get. Okay. Cool. I think we're ready. Let's do this. That's going to fly away and we're going to take on that slash, you slimy dolt. Still playing the comedian, eh, Glenn? You'll be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you the last time. You had fit right in with those bony fellows you just busted up. Alright, so now we now take on Slash. We're going to start with hitting, it, hitting him with the spells we have in our possession. I don't know if that healed him or... damaged him. We'll find out here in a minute. Okay, so it looks like f attack, attack, attack. Okay. So... Let's hit with Flame Sword. And we'll just try hitting with Froggy. There we go. 285. That'll do it. 58, okay. Have to wait for my partner. And down we go, another 282. 166. Attack, attack, attack. Seventy-five. Fire sword and attack again. 287. 164. Actually, I'm going to pause real quick. Let's 
Sorry about that, folks. Ooh, that actually does more damage. We'll take it. Attack, attack, attack. Alright, so we'll put Linda on healing duty. Hopefully we have enough healing items. We should. There we go. See here, I thought that Linda was just doing some good with, <laughs> excuse me, with her attack here. Okay. So we'll just keep healing Kronos here. Ooh. Well, that's one half down. Right. Now, let's get to business. This is going to do me a world of good. Because now he's going to have sword. And with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine! You dare to oppose me? We do, because it's round two. Alright, we're going to X-Strike. And we're going to mid-tonic Chris here. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll heal Froggy next turn. Oh, all three of us are on the same line. That's not good. We're going to hit it with fire, because even though... Like, we've done about 1,400 damage already. Okay, so Linda's going to take the brunt of that. She'll we'll heal her the next turn. Definitely need to heal her the next turn. There we go. Turn and Chris are gonna get hit. Uh, let's go and hit Froggy up with an ether just to be safe, because it, it's burning more uh, for him to do X Strike. Ooh! All right, Froggy's getting healed this next turn, no matter what. Really needs to get healed right now, right this very minute. All right, looks like Chris is going to get healed next turn here. Froggy will get it next turn here. And we're doing about 500 damage of a slash, so that's... That's good. Froggy's just going to get healed again. I'll take it. Yes, indeed! Ooh, yee -ha. Ooh. Strike again, 464. 500 experience points, 10 tech points, 1500 G. Froggy gets leveled up. Linda levels up. Sweet. Unbelievable, but falling in the line of duty for Magus leaves me with few regrets. And. Down it goes. The bat returns. We got a slasher.
As soon as I can get Chris here, Slasher is going to increase our attack by 7. It's also going to increase our speed by 2. Not bad. Not bad at all. But that is where I th we're going to save here. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we're going to continue. We're going to go back to the other side. We're going to Because those kids are going to be gone now. And we're going to figure out just what we have to defeat on the other side of the castle. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm the Bowmaster. As always, I've been obediently yours.